Today we will look at baby belugas. Hey, it's me, Brandon, and welcome back to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. In today's episode, we will be learning about beluga mother and calf pairs. I wanted to keep this episode a secret from everyone because I wanted it to be a surprise when I revealed what my subject was for this week. Now that I have your attention, are you ready to go on a cute adventure? Let's dive in. Belugas live in Arctic and subarctic waters. During summer months, belugas gather in warm estuarine waters where fresh and salt water mix. This is the time of year when belugas come to molt their, their old skin, mate, give birth to calves, and nurse. Researchers also believe that these gatherings are the only time that males and females gather but little research of group behavior has been done in the winter months. Males reach sexual maturity between seven and nine years, where females reach sexual maturity around five years. Once a female is pregnant, her gestation period is between 15, 14 and 16 months. The calves are born tail first, which is soft for the first few minutes, then hardens over time. The mother will guide the new calf to the surface of the water on her back to breathe. Calves are born with only 2.5 centimeters of blubber, which will grow to 10 to 15 centimeters at maturity. So what do the calves eat? Mothers will feed them milk that is rich in fat for 20 to 24 months. Then the calf will be able to eat fish and other crustaceans. You may be asking yourself, are belugas born white? No. They are born a brown gray color and turn slate gray after a few weeks. Then, over time, they turn white. A beluga calf doesn't know all of its vocalizations at birth and needs to learn from the social group. Just like humans, 
Belugas have different accents and different dialects depending on the location of the group. Looks like we have run out of time for this adventure, which is too bad because I could look at beluga cows all day. What about you? Thanks for watching and supporting this adventure. A huge thank you goes out to the Vancouver Aquarium for supplying me with this reference photo. I really, I really have enjoyed working with all of you, and it will be a, and it will be a pleasure to see you all when I come up to visit. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Do you remember my one rule about this channel? If you learned something new or made a new discovery, share that discovery with someone else. Thanks again. I have been Brandon, and I'll see you in our next adventure.